Hi guys, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to fix a faulty solid state drive. Yes, an SSD drive, which is faulty and cannot be read by a computer or any laptop. So I have a um, hard drive dock here. This is what we're going to use to read the SSD. Plug it there. Now let's check this hard drive into the computer management. As you can see at the bottom, it is showing but it is not reading. So there must be a problem with this hard drive. Now we're going to open this and see what is the problem in its logic board. I have some tools here for opening a uh, phone or laptop this can also be used to open this SSD drive as you can see I have lots of it but I will only use one or two or three of these things here so let's pick up this metal spudger first now I'm going to use this sucker <laughs> to pry open the um, SSD casing it's a bit hard to open it without this thing so you guys better buy this to you know easily open this um, SSD as you can see while I'm prying it I just press the opener and it just um, split into two. You don't even have to put a lot of effort in opening this thing if you have the right tools to use. So while I'm opening this uh, with this opener, uh, from time to time you will need to adjust its uh, location so you can, you know, force it to open while you're prying it with another tool just be careful not to exert too much effort there it's open right So let's just um, remove this thing again. Now the logic board is just a small piece and as you can see the casing is too large for it. So it's almost um, 30% of the casing so let's just uh, blow some dust um, out of this stuff let's clean up first so I can get a bigger workplace a better uh, leg room now the first thing I would like to do is to bring out my sick thermal compact pro camera this can save me from a lot of trouble of going through the components one by one by using the thermal camera I can easily find which component is getting hot 
after injecting power to the logic board. Now this thermal camera doesn't come with a um, focus lens. You will have to buy this focus lens and um, use it together with your thermal camera. Without the focus lens, it's very hard to use this thermal camera because it was designed to look at the far objects. Here I can see that one of the components is really hot at 34 degrees. So I pinpointed it and now we're going to test it. As you can hear from the beeping of the multimeter, it means that this capacitor I'm testing is shorted. Now to have a better view of the capacitors or the components, I'm going to use my microscope, the LED, LED microscope. And uh, let's do the testing again. As you can see, the logic board is now in the logic board holder. It was quite difficult to do a die test if um, the logic board keeps on moving under the camera. So it's better for you guys to buy this logic board holder because it's very useful. Now I am injecting flux to the component which I will be removing. In this case, this is the capacitor that is shorted. Let's put in some ample amount of um, flux. Now I'm using the uh, U1952D Plus um, soldering station. Earlier, I was using the U1952D Plus soldering iron, but it's better to use the um, heat gun to remove the item this component, which is the capacitor. Now let's clean the logic board with this PCB board cleaner to get rid of the excess flux that I used earlier. Now let's test it. It is still shorted so I'm gonna remove this again and um, observe again if there is any more any uh, component that is shorted on the board. Once again, I am using the thermal camera to locate the shortage and here I found another short capacitor. Let's point out my pointer on that side. Okay, I didn't show the process where I removed the shorted capacitors again. Now I'm going to test for any more shortages. Let's look at this cap here. 
and then this cap as you can see no more uh, short now this logic board is fixed now we're going to test if the computer can read this now I'm going to insert this in the SATA adapter As you can see here, now the computer is reading the hard drive and it's showing the details at the bottom. So it, it's working. As you can see, there's a new one here. It's a D, E, and a D, G. Right. So this tree is now working. So what we did is we just we removed the, some of the shorted capacitors and connected it to this one. So what you guys can can say about the superior technology that we have. Technology. <laughs> Rain solutions. Rain solutions. Yeah. yeah. The best. Hey guys, have a nice day, guys. I'm happy that we solved one problem. Now we can put back this this thing inside this. Now we'll have to put this um, logic board inside the casing, so we can attach it again later inside the computer. So putting it back is actually easier than removing it. So all you need to do is fit it back inside and snap back the cover. There. It should be fine now. Now let's test it again, get the um, hard drive dock, plug it in, connect the USB connector, and slide this SSD to the dock. There you go. And the computer is reading it and it solved the problem. Now we can get the data that the managers are requesting from us from this faulty hard drive. Let's try on the other dock as well. Yeah, same. It's also reading in there. So, okay, guys, thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day, everyone.